Hi there, welcome back. Um, I am here with another bag review. I love sharing my handbags. I love talking about handbags. It's like, it's just a fun hobby. Um, so recently I shared my Suzanne Justine basket tote um, unboxing and like a little mini review. Um, and today I'm gonna share another Suzanne basket tote. This is the Paloma, which I did a little bit of a mini comparison. Um, in the Justine video, which I'll link somewhere probably down below, but this is the Paloma bag. I've had this for a little over a year. Um, it still smells delicious. The raffia um, just smells so good. Oh, I love that. I love that part of, I love smelling my bags. Anyway, um, so yeah, after I shared the Justine, a few people asked if I had a review of the Paloma, and so I'm gonna just go ahead and do a review since I've had it for a while now. So first off, this bag I believe is around $250, so it is not cheap, um, but the quality is really, really lovely. So the raffia, the um, braiding, I'll like bring it up close, is very even. Um, you can see here it's really consistent, so the textile is just very, very beautiful. The bottom is relatively narrow, but this is definitely not a small bag by any means. Um, this is one of the biggest beach bags I have, or one of the biggest bags I have full stop, but also like I use it for the beach. And it has leather straps, just the two straps, and it's shoulder length, and I'll do some mod shots um, after and show those, and maybe I'll plug them in here. Um, and then when you open it, it comes with a dust bag, which is right here. It's 100% cotton dust bag. When you open it, it is just a huge tote. Very, very large. If you want to see, I like to do a head comparison um, side by side. So it's like three or four of my heads could fit in here. Um, and then it has two side pockets. So this is one. Oh, actually, I have some things in there, it seems. <laughs> okay, I have a little scarf um, and hair tie and a chapstick that is very on brand for me but the um, pockets on either side are quite generous I like to put my phone in one of them and it's actually really beautiful it creates this beautiful architectural shape um, on the bag the handles they loop through the just here and then has this like really lovely little detail that just kind of brings it all together. So we also show actually the, it is 100% raffia, and then it also has the uh, cow leather is what it says here. It's all in French, but I'll show the tag as well. Let's see if we can get that to focus. And there we go. So all in all, I love this tote bag. Um, this is my favorite summer bag now. I, like I said, I've had it since last spring and I use it mostly for the beach, but I also think it's a really great just summer bag um, and really great for um, springtime as well, like different looks. Okay, so I don't know if you heard that in the background, but my son was crying, so I had to cut that portion short. But now I can show you what fits inside this bag. Um, I, as you see, it's just a very big open tote, no organization except for that exterior pockets, which are great for keys, sunglasses, all the small things, chapstick, wallet. That's usually what I pop in there. Um, and then, so I think I'll show you just like my beach setup, what I typically put in here when I go to the beach. Um, I have a very bulky blanket or towel that I usually will pack in here. Um, you can obviously put something a lot thinner and less bulky that would fit a little bit better. Also, sometimes I'll pop in like a sarong or a cover-up. Um, then a big water bottle I always pack with me in the summer and spring. Um, you can fit, obviously, the essentials, keys, wallet. A larger wallet will fit. Uh, I think I'll also put in here my sunglasses and a book. You can see they fit easily in, in these pockets because they're nice and deep. But yeah, I'll pop in a book, my sunglasses. Usually it's in a case, but I just grab this out of another um, purse very quickly. And um, yeah, and then there's like space for more stuff, whatever you need, sunblock, yada yada. Um, and what else do I want to show you? 
Oh, also, I want to add, I have my almost four month old <laughs> with me. So if you hear some cooing in the background, that's him in these videos. It's inevitable. So um, I'm going to just leave that there. So yeah, I'm just repacking this to show that you can like put your towel on the bottom. Obviously, yeah, you can repack however. And I wanted to note that these straps are relatively thin. So if you overpack it, it will cut into your shoulders, especially in the summer when you're wearing like sleeveless things. So um, if I were to carry this a long way and it were heavy, I would probably take out the water bottle or just keep it a little bit lighter. Um, and I do wear it very light. Um, so yeah, here are a couple of like comparisons to the Justine basket tote, also Cezanne. Um, I have a whole video on that, so I'll link that below. And now I'll just show you some mod shots. Um, I hope this was useful. Uh, yeah, and if you have any questions, obviously, I'm very happy to answer them in the comments below. Again, I really love this tote. I think it's very chic. I feel like it's going to last me many, many years. I try to take good care of my stuff, so hopefully it will at that price point. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.